was my mother's birthday. A very close family. Why are the police investigating? Oh, you did make a videotape of the party? Yes. I'm still waiting to hear what law got broken. Rape, Mr. Sutter. And somebody decided to capture the moment for posterity. On a tape of my mother's birthday party? Well, I made some copies. I sent them around. Maybe one of my cousins threw his out. I don't know anyone could have taken it out of the trash. Do you recognize him, Mr. Sutter? No. I don't know what else I can tell you. Anyone could have taken it out of the trash? Oh, yeah, the kid can afford a $2,000 video camera, but he can't afford a $2 tape. Listen, man, you think there's any family resemblance between the kid and Sutter? Hard to tell, but I would like to see Sutter's apartment. <clears throat> nice light. I guess you don't get windows like these except in loft, huh? No, I, I suppose not. Um, you said you talked to my husband? Yeah. Yeah, we did. Uh, but we had a couple of things to ask you, if you don't mind. Uh, is this your bedroom? No, that's my son's. Does this have something to do with Shane? Does your son have access to a video camera? Is Shane in some kind of trouble? He might be. We're going to need to talk to him. Where is he now? At school. <sighs> Look, I think I'd better call my husband. My mom and dad both called here. They said I shouldn't talk to you. Well, play it your way. We can all talk down at the precinct. Talk about what? Videotapes, Shane. What about videotapes? Oh, hot stuff. Young girls, porno, rape. They sound pretty good. Yeah, and we got a pretty good look at you on the tape. We got a good enough look that we know you got two big feet. You do understand that I don't know what you're talking about. What about a girl named Corey Russell, Shane? I guess you don't know anything about her either, huh? Corey? I know her from around. Around? What, you hang out in the same bars? I don't go to bars. I'm underage. Corey goes to school here. You want her? I think she's in geometry. You told me you didn't know who did it, Corey. Do you want me to introduce you to Shane Sutter? He's across the hall. God, I can't believe you tracked him down. That's what we do here, Corey. Why did you lie? Can't we just forget the whole thing? Did you lie about being raped, too? I did Corey, so. You handcuffed her to a bed. You tore her clothes off. You forced yourself on her. Then you pretended to shoot her. Pretended? It was a goof. It's not a goof, Shane. A felony. Detective, these kids today are kids. Would you like to see the video your kid made of this girl and then sold for 500 bucks? But it's not just the boys. These girls, they call Shane all the time. You should hear some of the things they say. This one said stop, Mrs. Sutter. It was an act. If Corey's telling you different, she's lying. I can't help you, Corey, unless you tell me what happened. Did I ask for help? On the tape you did, you were screaming for it. I just want to leave. I don't have to tell you anything. Look, you can play these games with your mother all you want, but you play them with me, little girl, and I cause you real trouble. Either that boy committed a crime or you did by lying about it. Somebody's going to be arrested here, and I'm getting so I don't give a damn who it is. I have to see him and the other rangers every day. What rangers? The Mac rangers. Shane's friends, that's what they're called. Did they threaten you? I knew what would happen. I had nowhere to go. One of these other boys made the video? I didn't know it was going to be like that. Corey, did Shane Sutter have your consent to do what he did? 
It's awful. Did he have your consent? That's all I need to know. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You understand? You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. Number 775587, People versus Shane Sutter and Kyle Winters. Rape in the first degree. Let's have a plea. Not guilty. Not guilty. People request 200000 for each defendant. They're minors, Your Honor. We ask they be remanded to the custody of their parents. Parental control means nothing to them, Your Honor. They raped a 16-year-old girl while making a pornographic tape at the home of one of the defendants. They made a tape of it? And they sold it, Your Honor. Your Honor, the boy's parents are here today. They'll agree to whatever supervision the court stipulates. Yeah, so based on their track record, it seems to me they could use a little incentive. Bail has set it $100,000 for each defendant next. 